Hi, it's Kirsten. I hope you're all very well today. I decided to spend a cozy day in the kitchen to recharge my batteries. I think it's something we all need from time to time. And I'm beginning with making myself a beautiful breakfast, which is something very out of the ordinary for me, because normally I start my day very early with a quick breakfast. But taking some time out can really help. And stay tuned because later on I'm sharing an amazing gluten-free German cake. This is real luxury during the week because usually this never happens. So sometimes you've got to treat yourself. Okay, I made myself some scrambled eggs. I've got fresh strawberries, gluten free toast, and I'm using our new, well, from now on, I will call it. Downton Abbey jam jar. I really love it. And this is not my regular day. Usually I start working between 7.30 and 8am in the morning. And I have a couple of lentil cakes, a tea, um, a bit of cheese. And <laughs> that's it basically. So this is really pure luxury and you know, Jörg and I get a lot of messages, emails, comments from people saying, I want your life. But in the channel info about us, we say that our channel is escapism. So our regular weekdays are packed with work. We're always on the go, have something to do. We do everything ourselves. We do our laundry, ironing, the cleaning, and we film on weekends. So we are always so busy. And I know it doesn't come across like that, but I can get very nervous and anxious. So I have to be really, really careful and just, like when I feel that I would need a day off, which can be quite tricky when you're self-employed, this is what I would do. I just would do something that I really enjoy. And because Jörg doesn't have a nine to five job either, he spends so much time at the office. <laughs> but you know what's really funny? I spoke to him this morning and he actually has more tea at the office than we have here. He counted seven different kinds of tea and I was like, wow, your office is like a cafe. <laughs> that was really funny. And because we always have so much on our plates, we try to surround us with things that we really love and enjoy, with beautiful things and we try to do nice things on the weekends. And when I started the YouTube channel, in the beginning, it was basically just for our family and to have a memory for me and Jörg. And yeah, and now we really enjoy sharing beautiful things, but trust me, it's not like that every day. We do have our problems, troubles, struggle with a lot of things and for us, even for us, the channel is escapism. So I hope that makes sense. But 
now I'm enjoying my late breakfast and yeah, it's just so nice. It feels so special. Let's continue with a cosy and relaxed day in the kitchen. Now I want to bake a cake, a German cake, and we haven't baked in a while. The last time was on Easter actually and I just love to try new recipes and I don't want to put myself under too much pressure. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just nice to try new recipes and Yuck will love it. I haven't baked this cake before but it says it's easy so it should be fine. This is the cake, it's called Apfel Schmandkuchen and I will translate it for you and put the recipe down below in the info box as always and yeah, let's get started. This is everything you need for the cake and as always it will be gluten free. Make sure to check out the info box so you get all the details. And the cake contains quark but it also contains schmand which is a very German thing. It doesn't really exist here in the UK, so what I will be using, I will be using sour cream and add a bit of single cream and I think that should work perfectly. Now let's get this cake out of the oven. So exciting. It smells delicious and it looks very nice. I have to be careful because it's so hot. Well, I'm so pleased. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Now let's make some tea. I have to share one of my favourite teas with you, at least for the time being. Yeah, Greedy loves it as well. We only wish it would exist as loose tea. It doesn't, but you can get it in the supermarkets here. It's really, really... I don't know, you just have to taste it. It's so good. This is the name. It's from Twinings, number four, Dark Grey. Citrus, malty, a hint of smoke.
just had to wait for about 20 minutes because all of a sudden we had hail. I poured the tea, prepared the cake and I couldn't continue because you wouldn't have heard me. So now I will give it a try and I hope it's good. And what I should mention is I usually don't have sugar in my tea during the week. I sometimes make an exception on weekends and to be honest with you, I wanted to use this beautiful sugar pot and the tongs because I think it looks so nice on the table and is part of the whole experience even though I'm by myself. And now, let's give the cake a try. Sorry, it's really good. The recipe says you could use some whipping cream on top, but you don't need it. That would be too much. It's so good. It turned out so well, and you will be really happy. Hmm. Now this feels like a huge treat, especially during the week. And this day is an exception. It's, you probably can relate that sometimes, especially when you're self-employed and work from home, there are days that you need to recharge and like baking and having a nice breakfast can really take your mind of things and enjoy a nice cake, a German cake, nice cup of tea and I'm sure tomorrow I'll be back sitting in front of my laptop editing videos, planning which videos, planning our trips, we have so much coming your way and yeah, we're really excited about it. What I really love when I have some time to myself, I really love reading English magazines and we have this one on subscription, Country Living and there are some great recipes in it and Jörg and I plan on having a picnic and I think we will use the recipes in there, at least some, and we got an amazing book some weeks ago. It's called Dinner with Mr Darcy. Recipes inspired by the novels and letters of Jane Austen. So we can use that through our summer, autumn, winter, but basically all year round and I think it will be so nice to cook and share recipes with you and how they taste. So we hope you like that as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked spending a cosy day in the kitchen with me and it would be nice to know if you tried the cake I know I use the Dr. Oetker vanilla pudding, which is from Germany, but I'm sure there's probably an alternative for you to use, and it's really good. It's easy to make and really tasty. So, Jörg and I see you again next week, and take care, and until next time, bye!